Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an account in Microsoft Project to connect it to your Project Online environment. Easiest way to do this, click on the Project, open up Microsoft Project, click File, Info, Manage Accounts. You see here I have no accounts today, just computer, which is connected to just the computer. Do not connect to Project Online. I'm going to add a new profile and call it Project Online. And then I'm going to put in the URL of my Project Online environment that I got from here. Click in Project Online, click in Projects. I want everything up to PWA, like so. Copy that, paste it into Microsoft Project like so and I am actually going to set this as the default it's okay and then I'm going to select choose an account so if I want to just connect to computer only and do not connect to project online I still have the ability to do that pretty easily when I relaunch Microsoft project I'm going to leave now press OK to actually connect to project online I need to close out Microsoft project Relaunch it. It's going to pop me. This is because I put that choose an account. Do I want to connect to Project Online, computer? The default is Project Online. And at this point, I can just press OK. But I want to talk to Load Summary Resource Assignments. When you are using full blown Project Server and Project Online, you'll be able to see where resources are assigned across not just one project but all the projects when you're leveraging enterprise resources. We're going to talk more about that down the line and I have many videos and I'll show you the video I'll point you to it at the end of this video about enterprise resources but you'll be able to see where resources are assigned not only in this project but in other projects to see are they over allocated to get a clearer picture of who's working on your projects and where else they're working to be able to make sure that you are going to have that resource available when the time comes to start working on your project. I'm press OK. It's going to now go out to web, connect to Project Online. They ask me to log in. Put in my username. And you're probably not going to get this when you're using a corporate account. It's because I'm using this Test Tom YouTube channel. Let's see if I can remember my password I put in. And I'm not going to do that. And there we go. Now it's just going out and registering this version of Microsoft Project with my account and project online. You only have to do this the first time maybe, but generally when using single sign-on it will authenticate you through Active Directory. So it's not going up for me. I'm all set. My account's been added. Press done. And now it should load up project online. And here we go. So now I'm going to click just blank project. Right, so we'll create a brand new blank project. What I can see down the bottom left hand corner is that I am connected to Project Online. At any moment I can come in here and I can actually work offline, disconnect from Project Online and reconnect whenever I like. Active Cache Status. It's a new one. I haven't seen this before. So you'll be able to see the project name and any errors in the cache. So when you're working in Project on, on Project Professional, whenever you save your project, let's say you lost internet connection, you would actually save it into the cache. You have a cached version of that project schedule. When you get internet again, it'll up upload it to Project Online for you. So it's just allowing you to check for errors. That's a nice, neat new feature that I haven't seen before. All right, we're now connected to Project Online. Thank you very much.